Right now at noon, a vigil for the victims in a Middleton homicide is rescheduled for this weekend. We'll tell you where it will now take place. Plus, Madison Magazine is hosting its Best of Madison Business Awards. We'll go live to the event for a behind-the-scenes look. Hello, everybody. Good to have you with us this Thursday at noon. Thanks so much for joining us. We begin with the latest on the recent homicide case in Middleton. A public vigil for the family is now being moved to this Saturday. Police say a woman shot at her family, killing her two young kids and injuring their father before turning the gun on herself. Despite the rescheduling, some people still showed up last night to pay their respects. Sometimes um, I'll get out my car and um, open the door for him, you know, because our kid was in the wheelchair, our daughter was in the wheelchair, you know, and I opened the door for her. And look, I think our daughter was eight years old, you know, always smiling, you know, very friendly, you know, stuff like that. Here are the details for Saturday night's gathering. It will start at 630 in Lakeview Park on Allen Boulevard near the site of the deaths. You can find all of this information on channel3000.com. Meanwhile, up in Two Rivers, Wisconsin, police are asking for the public's help to find a missing three-year-old boy. On Tuesday, an Amber Alert was issued for Elijah Vu calling his case an abduction. Now state and federal emergency response teams are involved with local agencies helping in the search, including drones and canine teams. If you have any information that would help locate Elijah, please contact police. Now that the state legislature map is different, the governor wants to move on to U.S. congressional maps. Governor Evers is now asking the state Supreme Court to review those maps. The group behind the lawsuit that set off the fight over legislative redistricting has already taken action on this as well. They want that done before this November's elections. Let's head outside on this mild, sunny Thursday to get an update on the weather from meteorologist Kelly Slifka. How warm is it out there, yeah, Kelly? You know, I could almost take out my uh, suit coat uh, this noon hour because, yeah, it is warming up quickly. Uh, definitely, uh, we could be getting very close to where we got to yesterday when we got up to uh, 60 degrees yesterday afternoon. So it's one of those days. And as we look out at Lake Mendota, of course, the ice is way too thin to be walking on. You can actually see some of the water starting to open up with the sunshine and mild temperatures. Yeah, the ice is just about history for now. Uh, we are looking at some uh, very mild temperatures across the area. In fact, uh, as we look at some of the uh, temperatures, uh, our visible satellite, if I can get that to show up, um, we are seeing uh, quite a bit of sunshine across uh, all of southern Wisconsin. We did have some high thin clouds that have moved through the area. Uh, those have now moved down to the uh, south. And generally, we are expecting a mostly sunny sky throughout the afternoon. And with that sunshine, it is warming up nicely. In fact, uh, we are up to 55 here in Madison, already at 58 in Middleton. So unseasonably mild weather as we're going to continue to climb here for the rest of the afternoon. But this will be the last day of temperatures in the upper 50s. We'll be turning seasonably colder tomorrow. And yes, we actually have some snow showers just kind of put us back into reality as we go into tomorrow afternoon with fall falling temperatures. But we're quickly warming up by the end of the weekend into next week. And we're talking about some 60s, probably breaking some records early next week. And also along with that, we'll have a chance of maybe some spring like thunderstorms. So uh, temperatures in the upper 50s today, beautiful sunshine. Get out and enjoy it. Soak it up because we are expecting these temperatures to fall through the 40s uh, later on this evening. Enjoy the sunshine right now. It's 55 up into the upper 50s, maybe getting close to 60 for some today. Changes coming our way tomorrow, including some clouds and some snow showers and much colder weather. We'll time that snow shower chance tomorrow afternoon coming up in just a bit. All right, we'll check back in just a minute, Kelly. Thank you. Right now, thousands of AT&T customers are reporting cell service outages. More than 64,000 customers reported issues with placing calls, texting, or accessing the internet today. According to the tracking site, some Verizon and T-Mobile customers also reported disruption. In a statement, AT&T confirmed the outage and advised customers to make calls over Wi-Fi. And late this morning, AT&T issued an update saying 75% of its network 
network has been restored. Happening right now, our partners at Madison Magazine are holding their annual Best of Madison Business Awards, and News 3 Now is proud to be part of this event. The reason I'm filling in today for Josh is because Josh Spreider is live at the Madison Concourse Hotel and Governor's Club with a look inside. Hi, Josh, what's on tap today? Hey Susan, so what a wonderful event here at the Madison Concourse Hotel. We are inside the award ceremony which is underway right now. I'll give you a closer look at what is happening right now. There are some big time local business leaders including the Madison Mayor Sati Rose Conway in the house. And this event is all about celebrating what makes the best of Madison when it comes to local businesses. Earlier I caught up with our partners at Madison Magazine about why this event is so important to the community. Well, it is a big day for our partners at Madison Magazine. Andy Bailey, an editor, joining us. Andy, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. So, Best of Madison Business 2024. This is such a huge event for the community. It is, and it's our 23rd annual. We've been doing this for over two decades. It's an awesome event that gets so many business leaders and connectors in one place. Um, so, it's really fun to have this every year. So, we are honoring a lot of folks here in the community. Who are these business leaders that need this honor? Yeah, so this is, it is the Best of Madison Business. It's kind of a spinoff of Best of Madison that we wanted something for the business community and it's kind of it's almost to the level of a lifetime achievement award where we're really honoring the titans of our, our business community that that bring people together and the theme this year is connecting the dots and these really are business leaders that know how to connect those dots and their personal experiences really from where they came to where they are now is pretty incredible it is and actually this year is a little different we have a keynote speaker and who is also one of our awardees Marsha Lindsay and she really does have that trajectory of starting from one place and then to the, the career she's had over over a long and accomplished career. It's really exciting and I'm, I'm excited for people to hear that story. And moving forward, it's important to celebrate these leaders because they're making a difference right here in our community. It is and just and I mean Madison's a small enough community that people know these names. They know the businesses. This room, it's a networking room that people, you know, from from a lot of different businesses are talking to each other and we have to keep doing that. We have to keep getting together, convening, sharing ideas um, and that's going to, you know, help move Madison as a as a business community forward. Well, Andy, we appreciate your time as always. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And back here live at the Madison Concourse Hotel, this award ceremony will be going underway here until about 1.30 this afternoon. And coming up later on News 3 Now, including on Live at 4, we're going to hear from some of those honorees being awarded here for making the Madison the best of business right here in 2024. Live and moving forward in Madison, I'm Josh Breider, News 3 Now. Susan, we'll send it back to you. All right, Josh, go get some lunch. Thank you so much. Still ahead for us this noon, President Biden cancels more student debt, plus to Toshiba is issuing a recall on millions of laptop adapters. That's coming up in the Money Watch report. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. Moving forward. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you quality name brand workwear and footwear because we get you. From the farm to the job site to your own backyard, we have great deals on your favorite rugged styles for spring. Right now, earn $50 in Carhartt bucks when you spend $200 on Carhartt gear, $100 off these men's cat work boots, and while you're in for workwear, save on five gallons of Blaine's diesel oil, $64.99. Rewards members save an extra five bucks. Plus, don't miss this weekend's free snack sampling event. See farmandfleet.com. The Build, Remodel, and Landscape Show is coming, and admission is free. Make contacts, hire contractors at the Build, Remodel, and Landscape Show. Shop, compare, and save big. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, only at the Monona Terrace Convention Center. Steinhoffel's President's Day mattress sale is the best time to save big on a new Tempur-Pedic mattress. Save up to $300 and pay only $46 per month for a Queen Tempur-Pedic mattress. Plus, save $200 more when you upgrade to an adjustable base set. Tempur-Pedics are designed to make aches and pains a thing of the past by supporting the body as no other mattress can. The President's Day Mattress Sale, only at Steinhoffels and Steinhoffels.com. Another year of yo-yo dieting? Not this year. Hit reset and make a permanent change with permanent fat removal by Sonobello. With Sonobello, day one, all my unwanted body fat gone. These are my favorite pair of jeans that I couldn't even button up. 
look how flat my stomach is. I couldn't believe like it was just gone. I saw the results immediately. And this is the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. Real women everywhere are transforming their bodies permanently. Sono Bello is not a fad diet or boot camp workout. It's a simple, proven way to remove stubborn body fat permanently and in just one visit. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. If you are looking for physical results and positive emotional results, please run, don't walk to your nearest Sono Bello. Ready to hit reset? Find out how you can save $250 off instantly. Call now or go to Sonobello.com. Watch the Bucks return to broadcast TV when they take on the T-Wolves on your new local home for select Bucks games. Don't miss a second of the action as the Greek Freak heads to Minnesota to tangle with one of the top teams in the West. It's a Twin Cities showdown. Bucks, T-Wolves on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Friday at 9 here on WISC TV3. More than 150,000 borrowers have had their student loans canceled. President Biden said yesterday he's forgiving some $1.2 billion worth of debt for those enrolled in the Saving on a Valuable Education or Save Repayment program who have made at least 10 years of payments. It comes as the annual tuition at a private nonprofit four-year college or university now tops $41,000. That's up 4% from just one year ago. More than 15 million Toshiba laptop adapters are being recalled because they can overheat and cause a fire to ignite. There have been 679 reports of the recalled adapters overheating, catching fire, or melting. 43 people have been burned. The impacted adapters were sold between April of 2008 and April of 2014. And Pepperidge Farm has enlisted Ted Lasso actress Hannah Waddingham to help introduce its new Milano London Fog Cookie. It features the flavors of Earl Grey tea, milk chocolate, and a hint of vanilla. The cookies are expected to hit store shelves sometime next month. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to CBSMoneyWatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Carissa Lawson. Let's see how stocks are faring at midday. The Dow is up 320 points, the Nasdaq up 413, and the S&P 500 is up over 86. Up next, Pam Yonke is tracking today's ag prices, plus we'll have your full first warn forecast. And then coming up later this afternoon on Live at 4, CBS travel reporter Wendy Gillette shows us how the tourist destination of Morocco is recovering from a devastating earthquake. Wisconsin's biggest President's Day appliance sale ends Tuesday at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Shop holiday deals and special buys from top brands. Plus 60-month special financing without a single Washington down at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley. Save on big projects. Menards 11% off everything is happening now. Don't miss out. Complete your laundry room. Save 11% on Clearview cabinetry. Transform your home with 11% off new Mastercraft doors. Build your dream deck and get 11% off Ultra Deck composite decking. Or go even bigger and get 11% off a whole house. There's no limit to what you can save. Menards 11% off everything is happening now. Save big money at Menards. This right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real and I'm so excited. We even have a video and all he uses is a small amount on a clean dry face. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And I did this to my father. We were at home, so we applied it to his under eye bags, and let me tell you, we were so excited. And
in under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. It's your last chance to get our very best deals of the season during the Preston's Day Sale. Get up to 10 Benjamins in savings without a single Washington down. Get savings up to $1,000 instantly, plus five-year special financing, only at Ashley. South Central Wisconsin, where people unite for a brighter future and businesses thrive. And the food. Oh, the food. Resilient, unwavering, always moving forward. Now, here's the deal. We've got our fair share of challenges, but here's the kicker. We own up to them. We advocate for change. We celebrate the good and we fix the bad. No settling, no backing down. That's our commitment to you. News 3 Now, always moving forward. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Let's check in now with Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report. Hi, Pam. Hi, Susie Q. How you doing today? Good. It's almost Friday. We're almost there. Little Friday. <laughs> it's a grilling Thursday with this kind of weather. I'm game on. The only hard part is there's still plenty of mud in the backyard. The Sheltie dogs end up looking uh, grubby, <laughs> but I'll take it with this weather. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what's happening in Wisconsin agriculture today. You know, agriculture in the state is a major economic driver, but we're really a pretty small community. That's why I bring up the passing of one of the state, the Nash, national leaders in the pork industry. Hillman Schrader passed away earlier this week at the age of 84. He's up in the Sauk Prairie area. Uh, but literally, people around the world know Hillman. I noticed that he said once he never expected that pigs would facilitate him getting dressed up in a suit, jumping on a plane, and going halfway around the world to talk about those pigs. He was one of the founding members of what became the National Pork Producers Council and was a real driver of uh, fantastic genetics for hogs, specifically Yorkshire hogs, right here in the state of Wisconsin. Hillman Schrader passed away at the age of 84. Uh, the industry mourning him this afternoon, starting at 3 o'clock at Hooverson Funeral Home in Sauk City. If you want to share condolences, you can do that on their website. Today, they kick off the North American largest organic farming conference right there in La Crosse. 35th annual organic farming conference is underway right now. They're expecting somewhere in the neighborhood of about 1,800 farmers from literally across North America from around the world talking about organic production. Lori Stern, who is the executive director of Marble Seed, the uh, guiding influence on that show said one of the things they're working on is trying to share resources available for conventional farmers if they're looking at moving into the organic circle. Wisconsin's number two in the nation with the number of organic farms trailing just behind California. Today is FFA Day of Giving. It's National FFA Week and today the Wisconsin FFA asking you to financially kick in to keep the blue and gold healthy. Their goal today $50,000. You can find out more by going to wisconsinffa.org. Wisconsin FFA Org. All right, dairy markets today after yesterday's milk production report. Barrel cheese up a quarter of a cent at 161. 40 pound block cheese down a penny and a half at 150. Double A butter, three and three quarters stronger on a Thursday, 281 and a quarter per pound. So there we go. Tomorrow we'll talk more about the milk production figures. Wisconsin uh, kind of broke ranks with uh, regard to the trends, but we'll save that one for tomorrow, Susie Q, when we're apparently going to be back experiencing more February-like temperatures. That's right. <laughs> Reality returns tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pam, we'll see you then. Thanks so much. Happening right now, the annual Best of Madison Business Awards is underway in downtown Madison. Let's rejoin our Josh Spreiter, who is live this afternoon at the Madison Concourse Hotel and Governor's Club. Josh? Hey, Susan, good to see you again. So yeah, this is such a big day for Madison businesses here at the concourse. That award ceremony is underway right now. I'll give you a closer look. So this is the 23rd annual Best of Madison Business Awards. Our partners at Madison Magazine are honoring visionary leaders who see how it all connects to build a better Madison. And that's this year's theme. The program has been underway for about 45 minutes here. We have business leaders all across the spectrum and also local leaders, including Madison's Mayor Sati Rhodes Conway in the house. This will be running until about 1.30 this afternoon. 
afternoon. So 23 years, as I mentioned, Madison Magazine has been doing this. So since 2000, they've chosen standout local leaders whose work helps make Madison one of the best places to live. This year's awardees have roles that do just that in really recognizable ways. So these honorees are really doing something here in the community. And coming up later on News 3 Now, our coverage is going to be continuing. And you're going to actually hear from one of those honorees coming up today at Live at 4. She's actually the keynote speaker of today's event as well. And her story is pretty incredible. And she really has a vision for moving Madison forward, Susan. So you can look forward to that later today on News 3 Now. We certainly will. Thanks for giving us a glimpse inside, Josh. And Josh will be back here tomorrow at noon. Now over to Kelly. Let's head outside for a check on the weather. Hi, Kelly. Yeah, good afternoon. It's just a beautiful noon hour. Uh, temperatures continue to climb. I know we're getting kind of spoiled. And, you know, we have seen a lot of sunshine in the month of February. Not typical. Typically, February is a kind of a cloudy month, kind of a gloomy month and rainy or snowy. And that has not been the case. In fact, snow depth anywhere across the state of Wisconsin, you go into Minnesota, don't have the snow. That's very unfortunate because they do have the Berkey Binder up uh, cross country ski race up there in Hayward and Cable. They had to bring in some man-made snow because that snow that they got last week is pretty much melted. And well, why not? We've got the clear skies and temperatures well in the 50s. We're expecting that high of 58 at least today in Madison. Yesterday we got to 60. We might get very close to that again today. That'd be uh, well a record high, uh, 68. Set back not too long ago, back in 2017. If you remember 2017, they actually had to cancel the Berkey Bonner because of the lack of snow. But they did get some snow equipment and were making snow when they could. It's been hard pressed when you're talking about temperatures well in the 50s that we've been seeing and really cloud free skies once you get uh, north of Madison. We just have some high thin cirrus clouds. Those will be on their way out. So we are expecting a lot of sunshine uh, for today. And you know, we've had a lot of the sunshine in the month of February. It's made for some beautiful sunrises and sunsets. Uh, this was taken a few days ago and you can see just a be beautiful uh, sunrise, just some alto cumulus clouds on the horizon as the sun was coming up. All right, uh, the last day that we're going to see temperatures well in the 50s, uh, but we'll see this again going into Sunday and Monday. We just got a couple of days that are going to cool down going into tomorrow and also Saturday. Then we're talking about likely to be breaking some records the way it looks like right now next Tuesday temperatures well in the 60s along with that we'll have some showers and maybe even some thunderstorms before all of that changes over to some snow potentially on Wednesday kind of a up and down forecast the next several days but we're generally trending in the up and up the, just a couple of cool days Friday Saturday then we got a couple of cool days next week Wednesday and Thursday but otherwise well above average which uh, right now is in the mid 30s so uh, temperatures in the uh, 50s today upper 50s at that lots of sunshine uh, headed outside today try to uh, grab in some of that vitamin D because tomorrow we are expecting more cloud cover if you are headed out this evening temperatures will back off into the 40s now tomorrow morning it's not starting out too bad in the 30s the lower 30s but we're really not going to rise a whole lot maybe hitting the upper 30s to around 40 but also after the noon hour as some cold air moves in from the north we're looking at some snow showers to move in there might be a little bit of rain mixed in with that so we're not really expecting a whole lot of accumulation any accumulation would be minor and a lot of that will be melting on contact as it comes down uh, from the uh, north. Now Tuesday, this is the storm system we're watching. We're looking at uh, later in the afternoon into the evening, some showers moving in. Some of this may mix with a little bit of snow before starting to taper off as we go into a Wednesday afternoon. So kind of bringing us back to reality. All right, we're in the 50s right now, area wide, 55 here in Madison and across Dane County. Everybody warming up now, 57 currently in Middleton. All right, uh, beautiful afternoon for us. Enjoy. Tomorrow's going to be a lot cloudier, turning colder as the afternoon wears on with some snow, maybe mixed with some rain showers that'll come to an end we'll get back into some sunshine but a cold start to saturday 39 then we're right back in the 50s upper 50s at that on monday 60s on tuesday with that chance of showers and storms uh tuesday afternoon all right kelly thank you still to come today at noon howard has a variation on an old favorite in the mr food test kitchen if your meatloaf is getting a bit boring we have a new one that can shake things up and boy is it ever tasty News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. 
Did you know that 53% of your home's heat is lost through the walls and attic? That's why your house is so cold every winter. USA Premium Foam Insulation in your walls keeps the cold air out and your warm air in. Our foam is up to 35% more efficient than traditional insulation, and it gets into places other insulations can't. We've made over 100,000 homes more comfortable. Stop freezing and start saving with USA Insulation. USA Insulation. To everyone who believes in tradition, come enjoy a few of ours from Wisconsin. People in Wisconsin love a good fish fry. Really love. And we love sharing it with guests everywhere. At Culver's, we still batter our North Atlantic cod by hand to order. And we cook it to a crispy, golden perfection just for you. For you. For you. So it's crispy outside, flaky inside. Let us take care of you. With some homegrown traditions we were raised on. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Come on, Michael, come on. Catch the ball! Huddle up! Do you need to get your eyes checked? Well, actually... Here's the play. Stanton Optical makes glasses in 30 minutes. It's easy on three. One, two, three. Easy! easy. Hut! Hut! Come on, Michael, you got this! Come on, come on, turn! Michael, catch! I can see! Go get it! I can get it! 30 minute glasses? Now that's an easy play. Stanton Optical. Easy's our thing. If you have Medicare and Medicaid, iCare's dual eligible special needs plans help you get both care and coverage. Benefits include $1,800 per year to pay for eligible groceries and over-the-counter items. Whatever you don't spend carries over each month. Receive a $4,000 a year dental allowance and pay nothing for covered prescriptions all year long, even the brand name ones. Call us today and a licensed sales agent will help you find out if you're eligible. Rest easy. iCare is looking out for you and your health. Every spring, the love of my life came here to paint. Cress helped us make sure she's never forgotten. We are Cress. We truly believe your memories matter. I have a question for you. Can you think of one dish that's been around for what seems like forever and continues to reinvent itself over and over again? If you said meatloaf, you're right. When the meat grinder was first invented and ground beef became commonplace, so did meatloaf. During the Great Depression, it was common to mix ground meat with oats, breadcrumbs, or other fillers as a way to get a good cheap meal on the table. These days, meatloafs are made with an assortment of meats and are full of all sorts of add-ins giving each its own personality. One big trend we're seeing these days is finely chopped or shredded veggies mixed into the meat, everything from shredded carrot and zucchini to chopped eggplant. The meatloaf we're making today may look like any other meatloaf, but what sets it apart is that we've added finely chopped eggplant to the mixture of ground beef and pork, along with a slew of Italian spices and some Parmesan cheese. So if you love really moist meatloaf that's packed with flavor, you got to go online and get the recipe for our Italian-style meatloaf. I'm Howard of the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a changing things up kind of way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Thank you, Howard. It's time to introduce you to our pet of the week. Dane County Humane Society would like you to meet Hyde. This one-year-old pup knows sit, wait, off, down, and no. He walks well on a leash, they say, and he enjoys picking up sticks during walks. He also coexists very well with cats. Hyde is a member of DCHS's Lonely Hearts Club, and his adoption fee has been reduced. Last week's pet, Iceberg the Cat and Baby the Rabbit, that we featured the week before are still available for adoption. If you're interested in adopting Hyde, Iceberg, Baby, or any of the animals at the Dane County Humane Society, go to giveshelter.org. As a reminder, it is still February. It's going to feel like it tomorrow, but today it's beautiful. Yeah, get out and enjoy the uh, sunshine that we have now because it is going to be a beautiful afternoon, and that's going to change tomorrow. Right now we're well into the 50s, 55 in Madison, 57 already in Middleton. 
Upper 50s, some locations may get very close to 60, but that all changes tomorrow. Temperatures actually falling through the afternoon. That will signal some snow showers moving into the area. And a cold start to uh, Saturday down in the teens, 39 for the high on Saturday. Lots of sunshine this weekend will rebound back in the 50s. Low 60s likely to be breaking a record high temperature on Tuesday. Along with that, we'll have some uh, scattered showers and storms and might turn cold enough. Another bout of some snow, it looks like, by the middle of next week. A little bit of everything in there. September. Beer. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you back here for Live at 4.